Um, I actually retired after the 2018 Winter Olympic Games, and it was kind of a decision I made for myself. I think that so much of just my adulthood and my identity um, was built around this Olympic journey, which I love and have has grown to be a very strong part of my life. But it felt like um, I needed to give myself the room to grow in other ways and see where I wanted to go, what I wanted to do and try different things. And so for me in retiring, it gave me just that that pass to be like, okay, let's go try this or try that. And in doing so, I found like that this sport has really just been a reflection of who I am and that my presence in bobsled, my presence in, at the Olympic Games is just shows that, um, you know, I'm on track with my purpose and my passion and it low key just brought me right back here. And so um, I'm glad to be back and I feel uh, more determined than ever. It's a it's, it's a very different feeling going into um, potentially my third Olympic Games. And I'm humbled to be in this position uh, and I'm honored to have experienced the journey that I did and have grown from all the lessons that I learned along the way. So I'm excited to be here. Giving myself that space just allowed me to realize what was important to me, what about this Olympic journey really matters and why I'm doing it in the first place. When I first came into the sport, I was determined to win a medal and make the Olympic team. And in doing so, I realized that like this platform granted me the opportunity to impact so many others' lives. Um, I'm very involved in the Chicago community as well as a lot of organizations across the nation. And to just realize that me pursuing this Olympic medal or pursuing um, an Olympic team helps to inspire young girls or kids from like areas like me, the South side of Chicago, or um, just show you that it's possible to really go after whatever it is you want. That alone has given me the fuel to keep pushing harder and harder. Um, and it helps me feel like I'm not alone up there. Like this, this road is tough. And um, the further along we get, the harder it gets. And so knowing that I have the support in my corner, knowing that, knowing that the things that I'm doing is directly impacting others in a positive way, um, that's really my motivation. And I feel like I'm living in my purpose by being here and continuing this journey. Um, I never would have thought that I'd have the opportunity to race with her. She's been a legendary athlete throughout the sport of bobsled, let alone for Team Canada. And now to have her on the USA team is very exciting. We have two of the best pilots in the world. And so literally the opportunities for us to succeed are endless. And um, she brings a certain um, drive. Uh, Kaylee is very organized. She's very um, meticulous and just on top of her things. And I think that it enhances our energy and um, the the overall well-being of the team. Like she keeps us like on our toes and I appreciate her uh, input and how, you know, she's gotten to where she has. Kaylee is a very decorated athlete, Olympian, and I'm excited to see what we could do on that. Also, contrary to popular beliefs, we are not back there, like, just leaning and bobbing the whole time. So, um, as a brakeman and two and two man for the women, um, we're very, like, stretched out and trying to stay relaxed, which is super counterintuitive because if you knew, like, you were about to get in a car accident, you would tense up really, really tight. And so for us, we have to teach ourselves to be relaxed and kind of buoyant and flexible as they navigate this track. And so your breath work and um, just your flexibility is really key in this sport. And um, just trusting your pilot and trusting the situation that you're in and knowing that in 60 seconds or less, it'll be over.